Kia ora koutou. Um, before we start making a simple tucker, I'm just going to show you how to prepare um, a blade to get your fenu out for weaving. We want these most central parts of the blade um, as our weaving fenu. So, firstly, you notice that there's a shiny side, shiny side to your um, leaf, and on the back is a dull side, and down the back that carries that sturdy spine that joins the uh, leaf together. So what you want to do is gently close together the shiny sides. Then with your thumbnail, pierce just about 5mm in and go through both sides of the blade, both sides of that spine. Run that right up to the top of the blade. And then on the outer edges, we're going to do the same. These outer edges are quite thin and we don't want them in our weaving. So again, just around about 5mm. Pierce through both sides of the leaf with your thumbnail. And run that up. Now, open the blade up again and pull through that spine that you've loosened and together with the spine and the two outside pieces close up the leaf again and pull these three pieces right down and out that will separate your blade um, and then we will cut off any of this um, fleshy part that's showing. It's also very tough and we don't want that in our fenu for this project. Cut those off and now you have your two fenu ready for weaving. You might uh, size them again but for this project we're leaving them whole like this. Okay, so you want your base to look like this. You can see the blades are all woven and there are 10 going each way. And notice here that they alternate with a pitokoi and then a putake. A pitokoi, putake, pitokoi, putake. So that they are alternated with the thin ends and the thick butt ends. I've laid these all up the same way. These this one is laid up, uh, dull, laid dull side up. So now that we've got our base laid out, and this one is 10 each way, we're going to um, lock off our corners to keep the weave in place. So we take one from the corner, it needs to be coming out from underneath. It can't be a top one, it has to be one that's coming out from underneath. And fold it up and lay it under one. Under one. There, yeah, so it goes under two. And we've created um, a little bit of a, a corner here once we do this next one. So we fold that over the previous one which makes a nice little corner here and goes under that one over that one we want them to go under two okay so that's one corner done turn your work around um, We can just cut that off so it's not in our way. Alright, let's lock off this next corner. So the one that's coming out from from underneath gets folded over and goes under one, over one, and under another one. You can see now that all four corners 
um, have been locked off and embraced. And each one of these goes under one and two. Right? So each of the corners have been locked in. The next step is to begin locking off. We're going to lock off, fold, fold and tuck in every one of these fenu. So we start with the ones that are coming from underneath again and fold them up and then thread them under. You really only need to thread them under one this time. I can't fold the next one up because I would undo the weaving. So it's the next one that comes from underneath, folds up. And we go round, all the way round our piece, tucking in all of the ones coming out from underneath on every side. Here you can see I've locked off all of these ones that are coming from underneath. And I've also trimmed them off. So I've just tucked them under one. I'm going to carry on around and do all of the underneath ones. Okay, so I've gone around and tucked all of the ones that came out from underneath. They're all tucked in and trimmed off. Now I'm just going to flip my mat over. And I'm going to repeat that process with all of the ones that are still coming from underneath and I'm going to tuck them up under one Here is our finished tucker. Everything's tucked in, locked off. That's how it looks on either side. And this is a great project for beginning weavers, um, for children, to let them get the idea of takitahi. And takitahi is over one, under one, over one, under one, over one, under one. Takitahi. And this is a simple tucker. You can make them as huge as you like. Depends how many um, fenu you lay each way. If you did 20 by 20, you'd have something twice as big as this. Um, or you can make your strips narrower and do 10 by 10 and you'll have a nice little placemat for a, a coffee cup. So there it is, tucker.